Oh, squeaky chair. <laughs> I haven't sat on this chair for a while. Hi guys, what's up? Pete over here, Craigslist Hunter. I haven't done a video like this in a while. It's definitely due because the last one I did was for May. I enjoy making these videos. We're going to talk about what sold and for what kind of money in June and July. And we had pretty, pretty damn good months. June was on fire. We did in June 53 grand. And right now in July, we are on track to do about 50, 51 maybe. Uh, right now we still got a couple days left and we are at like 49 grand. So it's looking really good. It's been spectacular. So let's dive right into this. Uh, I'm going to show you probably about 20, 25 items that I think are worth picking up because they sell extremely good and extremely quickly. And everybody wants those items, right? When you can pick it up, throw it out there on eBay and within a few days you have a sold item. And at the end of the video, I will also show a couple items um, that I think might be, they're also good to pick up, but they definitely gonna be long tail. Those items are just super interesting to me. I like picking up stuff like that. So a few of them are gonna be at the end of the video. So let's start. All right, we're gonna start off with this little guy, Boston Acoustic. It's an alarm crack radio, basically with a built-in, uh, very good antenna in the unit. Every time I get these little guys, and this is probably mid to late 90s technology, maybe early 2000s, every time I find these, they come in different color, white, brown, black, silver. They sell very, very well. So jog it down on your list. This one I picked up actually at the thrift store for $4.99, sold for $47.95 within maybe three days. 12.95 shipping on this little guy. Next, we got this sold in one day, paid $10 on it. Anytime you can get a vintage airplane two cycle gas engines, they sell really good. Obviously you gotta know a little bit about it, but even if not working order or not tested, they will still bring good money and people like collecting them, people like buying them, even to rebuild them, use them. So this one sold here for $69.95, $12.95 shipping. And literally, it took no time to sell. Uh, great flip. Anytime you can spot these, pick them up. Next, I don't get these very often, but when I get them, they sell very well. Anytime you get any kind of flight simulator software or uh, even DVDs teaching you about you know, flying airplanes or drones, sell really, really well. This one, we got five bucks in it and actually came in a bundle of lots of stuff. When we broke it out in pieces, this came out to be five bucks. Sold for $69.95 with $6 shipping. Sold maybe in three, four days, less than a week. So any time that you can get your hands on any kind of flight simulators, pick it up. Good money. Next, this is a category that I talked about it before many times. And I love being in that category because there's so much out there that you can find. Vintage watches. Hand watches, pocket watches. Next one I'm going to show you, it's a pocket watch as well. This is a vintage Bulava watch. You will find this everywhere. Thrift stores, garage sale, you know, flea markets. This 50s and 60s and 70s watches, you can pick them up dirt cheap for three, four, five, ten dollars, and you can turn it to 50, 60, 80 dollar box. That's that range that they sell in. Easy to store, easy to ship, perfect category to be in. So is this one. Look at the Regina watch. This is a vintage pocket watch. It's got 17 jewels on it. Uh, I think it was actually missing the front glass. Sold for $57.95. We probably got a few dollars in it with $5 shipping. This is the category you kind of want to be in it because it will never go out of style. People like these, people collect them. It's easy item to for collectors who want to be in that niche because these are not Rolexes or Omegas or Bretlings that are, you know, five, six, ten thousand dollars. These are the watches that somebody can collect and spend 50, 60, 70 bucks on it and acquire very nice collections. So that's why they sell very well. It's, it's for regular Joe that wants to get into collecting. All right, are we focused? Yes, we are. Tracking me, tracking, okay. 
All right, this next item, this is another category that I like to be in, vintage knives, right? And a lot of times you will end up with a bundle. I had this in my video that I picked up a bunch of knives, like dirt cheap, $10 for this whole box. The guy just wanted to unload them. And we went through and we picked out like or two or three knives that were really worth putting online by themselves. They were like $40, $50 knives. But then we end up with this lot of knives that they're probably by themselves worth maybe about $10, $12 at the most. So it's kind of pain in the butt to list them individually when they're that cheap. But what you can do, you can throw them on auction in a big bundle. This is what we did here, 12 knives. And there were some good names there. Uh, there was there, you know, a couple of uh, uh, Boy Scout knives, uh, Catmaster, Case, you know, pocket folding knives. I mean, overall in decent condition, but in, not in the best condition. What we did, threw it on auction, 99 cents for a week, let it rip. Look, it sold for $108. Uh, we had a free shipping on it as well. Overall, very small package, easy to put in and then like padded envelope. So anytime you can't figure out the value on something or it's not worth it for you to list individually, put it in a bundle like this and it's gonna work for you, you know? Otherwise, you know, selling them for six, eight, nine, ten, even twelve dollars, it would be a pain in the butt. But in this case, look what happened: 108 bucks, no brainer. This was very interesting find. So we paid, I think, fifteen dollars for this. This is a vintage 1960s uh, Irwin wood bit set. Uh, there's 13 pieces in there. What's the best part? Vintage and made in USA. Anytime when it's American company, made in US, back in the day guys in woodworking or any guys who are working with with hand tools they want this stuff and they'll pay up for it especially when it's in such a good condition like this unit was so this one sold for 90 bucks with 15 dollars shipping probably took maybe day or two to flip so incredible uh incredible item to get into if if you can find them this is something interesting and the reason maybe it's not big money and the reason I brought it here to show you guys because we do sell these all the time and they sell relatively quickly if you price them correctly. Charges for batteries for different companies. It might be DeWalt, Rigid, Milwaukee, like this one, Bosch. Any of the companies out there will sell really, really good. Guys who have tools, they lose them, they break, they need replacement. You know, they have already three, four, five batteries. They have a few pieces of the actual uh, tool and now the charger broke. They don't want to get rid of the tools. They need a new charger. They pay up for it just to get a charger. This was like a $5 pickup sold for $29.95 with $12 shipping. And we sell these all the time and they sell very quickly. So when you are at the garage sales or flea markets or drift stores, anywhere, you'll spot these, grab them, long as it's a brand name, money to be made instantly. Next, this was a very interesting pickup. It sold really, really quickly. You know, I don't know a whole lot about camera gear, but I know enough when I spot something that can make me money, I'll go after it. So this, we, we got dirt cheap. We paid like $25 or $30, Adrian actually bought this. And Vicky listed it had two great lenses on it. The 16 millimeter camera uh, from Bolex. It was in great condition, but it's all about the lenses that it had on it. And it sold literally within one day, basically overnight. $249.95, $30 shipping. So keep an eye on stuff like this because there's some unbelievable money um, you got to do a little bit of research, a little bit digging, but it's worth uh, even spending, paying up a little bit for stuff like this. Here's one of those items that it's very interesting and every time I get it, it sells really well. And the, probably the, the, the reason that it sells relatively quickly is because in most states these are legal, right? The, the radar detectors are legal. I think there's maybe four or five states in the US that are, that are illegal. Maybe that's why they sell pretty well and so quickly. This is an Escort that we picked up for uh, 15 bucks, sold for $60 and sold basically overnight. So keep an eye on radar detectors. The spread is huge as far as the price goes. There are some units that are, you can buy a brand new one for $30 and there's units for hundred and there's units for hundreds of dollars. So always keep an eye on these because every time I get one, it sells extremely quick, so that's why it's in this category here. 
Next item, super interesting. I sold many of these over the years, different sizes. This is a barber pole light. Glass, nice glass dome around it. It spins, lights up. This was a small unit. This one was only like 12 to 13 inches high. Most of the time they're bigger. They're usually about 24 inches high. Those can go for really, really good money, especially if you find them in a working order. This one we paid $30 for it, sold for $129.95. This was a great pickup. We got this relatively cheap and everything was working on it. And it sold, I wanna say, less than a week. So very, very good sale. There's not much competition on them as well. Here's an item that I showed in my video probably a month ago or something like that, uh, maybe three weeks ago. Actually, I was playing on a video showing how the different speeds were working on it. I couldn't figure out the right speed for it, but I finally did. It also came with a bunch of tapes and anytime that you can add the tapes with the tape player, it's a big plus. You stand out, people will buy yours over somebody else's. And that's exactly what we did here. We paid peanuts for this, $5 for the whole combo, tapes and the player. Olympus, not the best brand, but they made and specialize um, in the small recorders back in the day, big time. They still, till this day, do digital recorders. Uh, but Panasonic, Sony, Olympus, they all will sell good. $39.95 with $8 shipping. This was an instant sale overnight. Next three items that I'm gonna show you they all came from different people that we bought them, but they all sold relatively quickly. This stuff will sell. It's expensive. You're not going to get a ton of money on it, but it will sell if it's a good money. So the pouches, the belts for contractors are very expensive when they're new. And I mean, this pouch, for example, is probably about 75 bucks when it's new. This was used. A lot of guys like them used when they're, you know, they've been worked on a little bit and the tools fit in a little bit, you know, neater into them. So this sold for $24.95 with a free shipping. We just got a couple bucks in it. So let me show you the next one. Same thing with this one. A uh, couple bucks in it. This is a Highline. Uh, this is electrician tool uh, pouch. It holds probably like eight or seven tools. 20 bucks, $9 shipping great flip and this is the last one this is a mix of two different uh, pouches on a belt this one sold because it's actually uh, a clean tools belt clean stuff tends to go for pretty good money and then you have a little pouch electrician pouch right next to it so this brought in 49.95 with 13 dollars shipping probably we had i don't know five six bucks maybe in it at the most we don't pay much when they come in when they're used up but they still sell very good. So keep an eye on them. You will find them in a garage all the time. A lot of people walk by them. Um, if you can grab them cheap, pick them up because they sell very quickly. Now here's the interesting item and this is probably the third or fourth time we did that and they sell all the time. Uh, this was recent. Adrian bought a wheelchair that was like brand new in a box. It looked to be brand new in a box, but when we eventually opened the box, the whole seat of this wheelchair was completely chewed up. Some kind of mice or critters got into it and chewed up the whole thing. Even the wheels on that, um, on that wheelchair were completely destroyed. They chewed up the rubber on it. But these are, these are the foot pedals. I mean, not pedals, the adjustable foot uh, rests that for your wheelchair for people to put the foot and they swing out. We didn't throw them out. We put them out for $29.95 with $18 shipping. And I sold many just of, of the of the footrest before online. Um, they might be a little bit bulky and convenient to pack, but they get damaged, they get misplaced. This is what you gotta think about. Items that people lose or get destroyed and they need to replace them and replace them relatively quickly it sold probably within three, four days. So long as you know which model it came off, uh, it's a no brainer, pick them up. All right, here's a super interesting item. Like I said earlier, again, any kind of tools vintage that they are made in USA, you can, you can sell them for very good money. This actually we picked up, you know what's funny? Now I remember actually Vicky's husband brought these in. He scooped them up at the garage sale for like dirt cheap, like a couple bucks, two or three dollars. He brought them to me and I think I gave him like 25 or 30 bucks, something like that. Um, Vicky threw them online. They sold within like two days. 
although you can't see it here but when you look closely there's 13 pieces here there were two they were identical one was miss i don't know if there was a like a manufacturer thing that they screwed up that they put two of the same in in two slots or or the way it was i don't know it was weird anyway sold instantly 149.95 with 30 dollars shipping guys i'm telling you anytime you find these brand names like craftsman or snap-on or matco or any of these good companies made in usa the mechanics the the guys that work with tools they want them they'll pay the top dollar so here's an item that i sell all the time but i hardly ever get these new uh, especially when they're vintage this was a brand new micrometer uh, from brown and sharpie now there's lots of different brands out there you know there's a strat i mean there's a lot of different companies they all sell good this is a very expensive tool when it's new and they sell quickly there's not much competition on this stuff so once again made in usa i think we had like 10 bucks in it 74.95 what it sold for with eight dollars shipping and this was just within a couple days Here's another great example of tools. Man, I think I'm stuck on these tools. This is a mix lot combination of different wrenches from a Snap-on and Metco, different sizes. Um, look, it sold for $48.95 with $10 shipping. Easy to store, easy to ship, nothing breakable. Uh, we probably had a couple bucks in each wrench. Great flips. Pay attention to this kind of stuff. When you see a box out there, toolbox or cardboard box filled with with tools at the garage sales go through them really quickly see if you can spot those you know brand name names like snap-on or Metco. pay attention to that stuff because it's great money this is an item that we paid up for it paid a hundred dollars for this sure microphones uh wireless with receivers this is like a complete kit here with the hard case sure it's extremely good company when it comes to microphones very well known obviously yes we did pay it up but look it sold for 349 dollars and it sold basically within a couple days 30 dollars shipping on it nice durable case so if you got a little bit of money you can definitely pay up for stuff like this because you know it's gonna sell and bring quick good profit this next item if you guys are hearing like a little whist right now like it's my actually furnace that turn on with ac and at the beginning makes this weird noise and then it kind of levels out but anyway it doesn't matter here's an item that that you probably saw me pick it up a couple months ago it was like beginning of june i stopped in at this my local thrift shop and i picked up like three different books these were brand new books these are like service manual books for technicians for doing heating systems HVAC like troubleshooting you know technical books they're expensive when they're new when these guys go for training or they take classes they gotta pay up sometimes a couple hundred dollars for the books like this so quick flip took a couple days 54.95 I think I paid two dollars for this book maybe less I don't remember now there was a couple books that I bought five dollars shipping great flip pay attention to these technical books because they're very expensive any textbooks or for school that's all good money all right guys now i think we are now we're going to jump into stuff that it's great profit but it's a little bit long tail if you have a little bit of money that you can invest you can wait but it's going to sell for great money so this this unit here it's a vintage con it's a trumpet 1907 silver plate over brass everything was in there it was a little bit banged up uh, we paid $45 for this, sold for $200 bucks with $30 shipping. I want to say it took about a month, maybe a little bit more than a month to sell. But uh, musical instrument, vintage stuff, great money in it. You have to understand the market a little bit when you're playing with, uh, with the instruments. You got to know what you're getting into. But, you know, for $45, bucks, why not? You know, you can sit on it for a little bit all right another musical instrument same story vintage um accordion uh honer this is a unit that was in very good condition case was uh, so so condition but it had this smell to it you know like you know how old suitcases or boxes or anything like this sits in a muggy 
musty basement for 40 years or 50 years. This was the case with this. It had that smell to it. Um, I think we paid 70 bucks or 75. This is our regular that comes in all the time. Older gentleman that brings us these old musical instruments. He actually repairs a lot of these. He's my uh, he's my guy when it comes to you know like bringing him stuff if I need something very expensive to fix. Anyway, sold for three hundred twenty nine dollars, uh, thirty five dollars shipping. It took probably about three months to sell. So anytime you get into stuff like this, when the market this is very niche market, there's only so many people who are looking for um, accordions like this. So it's gonna take some time to sell. All right, guys, this is going to be the last item I'm going to show you. And it's interesting because I did really pay up for it. So I had to sit on it a little bit longer. Uh, if you go probably about three months back, one of my videos, when I shot some video in my friend's Tony shop, which is just next town over, buddy of his brought this in and Tony called me and he said, hey, listen, my buddy wants to sell this. I really don't want to buy it. I know you would be interested. So I came over and we agreed on 250 on this. It did came with that cable that you see in the back. Those cables can be very equipment. I mean, very expensive for this for this equipment. Bang and Olson sells really good, but you gotta wait for the right buyer. So I paid 250. We priced this originally for 499, and then a couple times we dropped the price by like 10 dollars. Eventually sold 479.95 with 20 dollars shipping. You know, here it's it's a game with this kind of stuff because it's a high quality. I paid up a little bit for it, so I need to get my money out of it. So I'm I'm gonna sit on it for a little bit to get that right price. Long tail? Yes, it is. Um, Any time that you have really high end stuff and you asking and you know it's in a good condition, you asking a little bit more, you're gonna wait for the right buyer a little bit longer. But it's part of the game, guys. So. Yes, this is the last item that I got to show you. All right, guys, that's it. I, that's all I have for you. Um, I know there's going to be lots of questions because there's always are questions after I finish this kind of video. But Pete, how much you're really making? Sales don't mean anything. So guys, I share this all the time and I tell this all the time in my videos that I like to pay usually about one third uh, for the products that come in or I go out there if I go out there hunt I usually get them a lot cheaper But when they come into the shop, I usually like to be right in that one-third So if something sells I can flip it for hundred bucks I'm usually not gonna pay more than 30 35 dollars for it now. There's occasions that I will go as high as 50 percent uh, But then I know Definitely that something is gonna sell really really quickly too now There's a lot of items that I showed here that were actually way under as well but after said and done, after all the fees and all the expenses, you know, and paying, you know, employees, we are usually operating at the 50% profit. So it's doable. Obviously, my game is a little bit different than most, right? Because I get to see and lots of stuff comes in and I get to cherry pick a lot of stuff. But that's the business model I chose and this is what I do. So... Go out there, guys. Make it happen. It's doable. You can find a lot of this stuff out there. I hope you got something out of this video. Jot it down in your little notebook for the future reference because you never know when you're going to run into this stuff. And if you do, you have at least a little idea. Yes, let me grab this because this is going to sell quick or this is going to bring good money. Or sometimes, should I invest a little bit more? Probably you can. Do your research. Uh, it's worth it. It's not always about finding stuff for three dollars and flipping for fifty, or finding stuff for five and flipping for a hundred. We all love those, you know, home runs, but doesn't always happen like that. Sometimes you gotta pay up a little bit to make some money. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumb up. Uh, if you have any questions, drop me a comment below. Uh, I know on these types of videos, there's always lots of comment and questions, so don't hesitate if I. Uh, if I spot a question, I'll try to answer it. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Till next time. Cheers.